Hello everybody, welcome back with my car review. Today we are gonna make small review about 2018 Ford Mustang. Let's do it. Between model years 1987 and 1993, the Ford Mustang could only be had with either a 2.3-liter 4-cylinder or a torquey 5.0-liter V8, a 6-cylinder wasn't on the menu. Now history is poised to repeat itself with the introduction of the 2018 Ford Mustang, which drops the current car's naturally aspirated 3.7-liter V6 and leaves Ford's updated pony car with only two engine choices, a turbocharged 2.3-liter 4-cylinder and a naturally aspirated 5.0-liter Coyote V8. Of course, today's Mustang engines are much more powerful than those of 25 years ago. While Ford isn't ready to talk numbers, the company notes that the 2.3-liter has been updated to incorporate a new overboost function. We expect the revised engine, currently rated at 310 horsepower and 320 pounds to feet of torque, will boast numbers closer to the version found in the Ford Focus RS, which is rated at 350 horsepower and 350 pounds to feet the Mustang GT's 5.0-liter V8 also has been revised. Mustang chief engineer Carl Widman states that the only truly carry-over piece from the current 5.0-liter is the crankshaft. Along with a new fuel delivery system employing both port and direct injection, the updated V8 also revs higher than before. A quad-pipe exhaust system replaces the current dual-pipe unit, and, as on its fiercest competitor, the Chevrolet Camaro, there's an optional variable exhaust system that keeps things quiet at lower RPM but amps up the noise courtesy of valves that open when heavier throttle is applied. Both 2018 Mustang engines are mated to either an upgraded 6-speed manual transmission or a new, optional 10-speed automatic. In the case of the V8, the manual transmission also incorporates a twin-disc clutch and a dual-mass flywheel. Additionally, all 2018 Mustangs are treated to retuned dampers, new anti-roll bars, and revisions to the rear suspension bushings, while cars equipped with the performance package gain the GT350's electronically adjustable magnetar or heological dampers, another piece of tech already on the Camaro. The biggest visual changes for cars equipped with the performance package, which inherit a gaudy new functional rear wing. Although Ford notes that the Subaru WRX SDI-like piece has been thoroughly tested in the wind tunnel, the company will allow performance package buyers to opt out of the big trunk-mounted picnic table. The rest of the Mustang's exterior updates are more restrained. Ford says the front fascia crib styling details from the Ford GT Supercon, although we're still searching for the likeness. Redesigned headlights and taillights use LED technology, while the hood, rear fascia, and trunk applique have been lightly retouched. The overall look is less retro but still inherently Mustang. Inside, the cabin benefits from padded knee bolsters, soft touch upper door panels, and an optional heated steering wheel. Although the current Mustang's gauge cluster survives in lower spec 2018 models, a new 12 inch digital cluster also makes its debut. It offers three viewing modes normal, sport, and track. Normal largely mimics the look of the analog cluster. Sport elongates the tachometer to put higher revs at the top, and track mode eliminates the analog speedometer and tachometer, replacing the speedo with a digital readout and the tech with a longitudinal setup at the top of the cluster. Finally, Ford is incorporating the latest automated safety technology into the Mustang, with a pre-collision system that can also detect pedestrians, plus lane departure warning and lane keeping assist. Look for the 2018 Ford Mustang to go on sale this fall. Pricing for the base four-cylinder model is likely to stay close to today's $27,095 Mustang EcoBoost, while the GT with V8 should add approximately $500 to $1,000 to the base price of today's $34,095 model.